uh, it's the 1400 turbo baby 935 and you do a double take because it looks so so similar to the new iteration of the 935 that was introduced last year to celebrate the 70 years this the very latest audi r8 this is a gt3 car this very car won the nurburgring 24 hours a couple of weeks ago and tom christensen is driving it it was a win for ant moser's phoenix motorsports team but uh, tom christensen drives this r8 lmf gt3 today you can see all the Nürburgring 24-hour dead flies and oil and mud and everything else splattered up the car. It's exactly as it finished the race. It's probably getting cleaner actually now in the rain. <laughs> it, it has been for many, many days. Yeah, indeed. The superb event, the Nürburgring 24-hour on the full Nordschleife circuit. I've never been, but I feel like I need to. Uh, it, it's bonkers. Actually, I think that might be on my bucket list. Yeah. Up there with Bathurst and uh, Indy. I recommend you go. Joe Osborne, GT regular for McLaren. Uh, in this, the uh, 720S GT3, 4 V8 turbo engine. Carbon fiber this, and got the developed on the track, <laughs> very nearly off the track here, Joe pushing on! Brilliant stuff, fantastic to see the McLaren out there, and uh, these guys, despite the wet conditions, proving that they're professional racing mm. drivers, and yes. really giving it some, uh, really giving it some stick up there. This is Mike Conway, a man who looked so forlorn on the podium at uh, Le Mans a few weeks ago, that Bromley Bullet, as I have apparently just christened him. I think I've always thought that about him, but I've never thought to say it, and now I've said it. There we go. But it's out there. Yeah. It's just it. But he's in the, the GR Super GT4 concept car. And this is our Shuri Metallia. Italian sports car racing. Came into Formula 1. He's an Alfa driver. He's a Ferrari driver in sports cars. Uh, came into Formula 1 with his own creation. And the... Uh, popular Italian now what must be in his mid to late seventies but always used to have his trademark cowboy hat with the Marlboro decal on it great competitor great value another entry in our unofficial Marlboro, Marlboro collection <laughs> yes exactly Stefan Mucker uh, who's different from most manufacturers in the DTM or DTM run for GT from the FIA's World Endurance Championship and something has fallen off something and it was probably Stefan Mucker Accelerating away, did he glance off anything? Oh, no, the pit drops off the back. Marshall quickly there to pick it up. Stefan Mucker, whose dad I think we saw yesterday in the Zaxby Capri. Yeah, uh, Stefan Mucker blasts up the hill. You can see the, the nod to the heritage, can't you, of the GT40 in there, but it, yeah. it, it is only a nod. Uh, we think it might have been just one of the one of the chocks from down there at the, uh, ah, okay. at the start line. Another car from the Nürburgring 24 hours here is the Lexus RCF GT3. 5.4 V8 real grums and go GT car this. Bags of torque, loves long circuits to stretch its legs. Jason Stanley is the driver of this car. Six-speed sequential race transmission. As I say, 500 horsepower. And despite the fact it looks a big car, it weighs just over 1,300 kilos. It's got carbon fibre doors and bonnet roof uh, and a rear spoiler made of carbon fibre on there as well. Great to have another new-ish GT3 car as well and a new manufacturer entering because they've only been in GT3 racing, what, a couple, a couple of years? Yeah, and Lexus did have a win. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a surprise win, it was a very popular win, but it came out of nowhere and it hasn't replicated that success. Uh, this, the very latest, Porsche, we saw this being unveiled yesterday. Porsche is beginning to get bigger and bigger, but this is another absolute weapon. Fantastic sound as it comes up the hill. It was literally had the cover pulled off it on the start line yesterday. This is uh, Ryan Cullen in the Ligier, Ligier JSP3. It's an LMP3 car that runs in the Michelin uh, Road to Le Mans Cup and with the Chevy V8 engine, durable, bulletproof, relatively cheap to maintain. LMP3 has become a really successful class uh, and VGA under its new owner just coming back to the sports car engine. Used to run, of course, successful sports cars as well as its Formula One campaign. The late Guy Ligier, the company's founder, and uh, still the type numbers with that JS prefix because that was how Guy Ligier always dubbed the cars, always turned the cars, uh, I think great friend Joe Schletter, who was killed at Rouen for Honda. Just a car with the team racing in the UK. In its one-mate championship this year, the 458 Trofeo model, the new 458 